No question that South got to take care of the basketball. Shoot the lights out. No, play a perfect game to all the different things. Last game, it led to turnovers again late in the second half. They had an awful, awful start. You know, in the second half, they didn't play too bad, the Lady Red Wings, but they just, by that time, the game was out of hand, and, you know, nothing that they could do. So, hopefully, South can turn it around here in their own game. One of the things with basketball teams is you need to have athletes. And uh, Kylie Durack and uh, Kirchner both signed D1 soccer scholarships. I know it's soccer, but they're athletes, and that makes a difference. Yeah, there are some athletes over here. And I'll tell you, Sheboygan North's playing really good basketball. One time, this club was 6-8. and eight. They won 6 of 7. The only team they was the team at the top of the standings. Now, they do got to play the second-place team uh, next week, but 6 of 7, we always talk, Marty, about peaking at the right time. Well, the Lady Raiders are peaking at the right time. in a game, that makes it tough on both because they got three kids they got to concentrate on. Yeah, most of the time you get one or two scores and they got three. And one that's not even on in the top three is Casey Bell. She scored like 14 points last game. So there was another one for North that threw in there to, to compete a little bit against North. So, like I said, North's playing good basketball right when they want to be. Hey, so you got to give, give them credit. They've been uh, hanging in there and playing hard and, uh, Given Coach Bonham, Botham, a, 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 you know, good effort. Uh, Amy File, Katie Banny, Hallie Bolt, the freshman, all those kids, they can play. They just need a little help. Yeah, like I said, take care of the basketball. And as, as I walked in today, I kind of sat by, you know, the band was getting ready. And the South girls were really loose. They, they weren't acting like this is a North-South game. They were joking around and messing around before the game, kind of just like you want to be. And we always know how these North-South games kind of start. They don't always start the best, but... They were real loose. All right, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's first game. messed up your son's haircut. Mom? Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you've got. Or C, show solidarity. Oh, thank you, baby. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same.
We know these officials, Chris, uh, Dan Miller, of course, uh, we saw him just the other night along with uh, Chuck Bladehorn. Scott Valenstein, a local boy, yep. getting a chance to work the North-South game. Boy, and that band without drums on the introduction there. And I like how they were quiet when I was uh, doing our lead-in, and then they started playing when you were doing some analysis. Yeah, I, sometimes <laughs> I struggle to hear all the time, but... Uh, Dave Flynn's daughter's banging on the... Hey, she couldn't play loud enough. <laughs> <laughs> banging on the <laughs> cymbals. cymbals. Yeah. I remember Dave Flynn would always say he'd sit for these North-South games. I think it was his, at his dad's house or something. And listen to us guys? <laughs> wow, that's pretty weak. How about a lead for South? A little short. North, by the way, is starting an all-senior lineup. Uh, not all the... Well, let's just leave it. They're starting an all-senior lineup for Eric Spielman. Deep three is off the rim. No good by Binder. North in a zone. Drive to the basket shot is no good. Turnaround in the lane oh. by file is no good, and it just won't crawl in. And tipped out of bounds by South. South with a couple chances at the lead. Can't get him to go. There's a little trap. Something different from the Lady Red Wings we haven't seen yet this season. Good job of getting the ball in the middle to uh, Theobald and breaking the press that way. South uh, opening in a zone also. Yeah, they played that before. Loading up from the three-point line and missing it is Mary Schmidt, but the rebound by North is, by Binder, is also no good. And uh, controlling it for South was File. I've checked that. Hallie Bolt. Bolt's 10-footer is no good. And then getting fouled underneath is Amy File. She'll be at the line to shoot some free throws, Chris. They might get the lead. Well, we looked at the shooting percentage for South, and you know, there's lots in the 30s and 20s, and you can understand why as we start this game here, they've missed their first four. They've had good looks, just haven't any, had any to fall. Also got three offensive rebounds. Couple of misses, but coming away with the rebound was South and the travel. Amy Urban got that offensive rebound for the Lady Red Wings. As we said, South won six of seven. The only team they've lost to is Bayport, so they're playing well. 
Looked well initially like a good move inside. I thought so. Yeah, by uh, Schmidt, but uh, she gets called for the travel. Well, Kirscher looking for the steal, and then the pass inside is a little wide by uh, Banny, and uh, North will get it right back. No score, two minutes in. South hoping to get some kind of trap on this here. Yeah, a little different graphics for this ball game, Chris. Kircher driving the lane, kick out to Binder. She's open again, can't get it. Amy File with the rebound. She's got a couple already. I got her for four already, Marty. Holy cow, that's more than a couple. Yep. Well, she's got three on the offensive end. Shot by Banny from the outside is no good. Banny came into tonight's game with 23s. Kircher had it stolen away by Bolt. Nice steal by e. Halley. One of these got to go. Banny, long. Rebound, put back is good by Urban. South on top. Diebold kicks it out. Three point ball is up and in by Mary Schmidt. I got her now for 11, Marty, on the year. You're right. Diebold almost traveled after making a steal. Kircher driving the lane, she gets fouled. Blocking foul, I think that's gonna go on uh, Amy Urban, Abby Urban. Ooh. Foul. Boy, oh boy, Chrisette could almost spin uh, while she was still on the floor. Surprised she's getting two. Wow. Yep. First sub, Marty. Luma in the ball game for file. Just a sophomore. Just two seniors on South. Kircher misses both of her free throw attempts. We're 0 for 4 for the game. Bolt with a nice uh, dribble between the double team. Good hustle by Luma, and then uh, Theobald is going to pick up the foul. Allie Bolt open, couldn't get it. And Theobald comes away with the rebound, and Bolt's going to get tagged with the foul. Good aggressive play, though. South with eight shots. You know, the one thing we didn't, in. we didn't talk real much about in the opening, but uh, kids like File and Bolt, you can't get those guys in foul trouble and out of the game because right. they're just not real deep south, is, isn't. Theobald's going to pick up her second foul. Had a layup, but uh, wouldn't go for her. Four minutes in. Yeah. I like the graphics, Chris. Oh, yeah. Nice and sharp. You got some workers in that truck, other than Scott. Fanny sure. gets it inside. Luna, Luma, and then she throws it away. And uh, Abby Urban, I believe, is going to get the foul. So that's three frontline players for the Lady Red Wings. They each have one foul, and we're not even uh, six minutes in. Also 
Mariah Platts is normally a starter and a senior, but uh, Coach Spielman went with uh, seniors who didn't uh, don't normally start for this ball game. One for two trip for Schmidt. It's four to two North, and another turnover. Kircher's layup is no good, and then it's tipped out of bounds by uh, Opie. Slow mover so far, Chris, in terms of scoring. Very slow. Hey, you're not running out of ink, though. Well, in certain categories. Well, cross court, dangerous pass, but uh, was complete. File airmails that one into the third row. Little quickness by that fan, he'd have caught it. Sharing her in the game. Julia averaging 7.3 a game. Good ball movement. Oh. And then uh, getting fouled underneath was uh, Kylie Gurak. Now, Amy was just a little late. She's got to be quicker to get there. She anticipated that, but you can't run through the defender. You just got to beat her to the spot. You know it's coming. And that's her second foul. And that really stings the Red Wings. Lindsey Horan comes back in. Loading up the three, but not getting it in. Was uh, Norris. Meredith Opie. Three pointer by Sheringer is no good. Bolt has it now. Nice pass. Good feed inside, but uh, not even close. But getting fouled on the rebound putback was Abby Urban. She'll be at the line shooting a pair. Well, like we've said in the opening, Marty, you see South do good things. They just can't complete it or finish. It's not like they, they got steps. Right. It's they know what to do. It's just not always going in or finishing or. Hey, did somebody steal one of your baseball jerseys? Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Another couple misses by the Red Lady Red Wings. Mariah Platts with the rebound. Platts led North in the last game with 16. She wears number 44. She's dangerous from the outside too. OP had a good look, couldn't get it to go. Mary Schmidt with the only three-point make in the ball game so far. Banny, quick release right on line, but a little short. Scheringer had it on top, gives it up to Opie. Kick out pass, three-point shot is no good. That one attempted by Casey Bell. Seems to me, Chris, both teams for that matter, and South not quite as bad, but uh, really focusing on the outside shot, yeah. not getting it inside. I was just going to mention, Marty, North is one of eight from three. They've only attempted three twos. Of course, <laughs> that makes them one of 11 from the floor. Good defense on the baseline by Bell. Bolt. Oh, over the back, and they, they get it a little bit late, waiting to see what happened, but Casey Bell's gonna pick up the foul. Good block out. I believe that was Hallie Bolt who got the rebound. They have seven offensive rebounds, Marty. Wow. Bolt with a 10-footer, no good. Opie with the rebound. And she loses it. Allie Bolt 
off the glass, no good. Offensive rebound again, no good. And coming away with the rebound was Bell, and she gets fouled. South one of 14 shooting, north one of 11, I think I have them. I, both teams should look to go inside. South has tried to get, done a little better job than north to get inside. Haven't finished and missed some free throws. Bell, there's good a pass. good pass inside. And the shot is up and in by Kylie Gurak. Yeah, there you see the finish. And when you make baskets, you can then set up your trap, which you can't really do if you're just going up and down the floor. The timeout by South. Thirty second timeout, so with nine fifty five in the first half, six to two, that was just the second basket for South or excuse me for North, just their first two pointer. Both teams struggling from the field. You look at the foul situation right now, it's five and five. But uh, two key players for South with foul trouble, that's Urban and File. I know this is something we've talked about uh, over the years, Chris, is I'm not a real big proponent, and I don't think you are either, of on, let's say senior night, starting all your seniors, or the last north-south game for these kids, the seniors and playing the seniors. You know, I, I'm, I think you should always start your starters, you know, yep. and get the game in hand first. Right now, the game really is not in hand for North. Well, they're not, South's not gonna be uh, one for whatever the rest of the night. So if they could hit some of these shots, they're getting some good looks. They're yeah. just not Katie falling. Katie Banny had some wide open looks. Platts with a nice steal. Opie loading it up from three land and she nails it. Oh, just like that, couple of baskets. It's nine to two. Five straight big points. Coming in within the last 30 seconds here. Dina Bushi in the ball game. Another steal. Layup is up and in by Sheringer, and she's fouled. Hallie Bull picks up her second foul, Chris. Well, this ninth turnover on South turns into a three-point play for North. And just like that, within the last minute. Oh, seconds, actually. Yeah, they've run off uh, eight straight. Well, if you include that last two-pointer. I was just talking about the last six with <laughs> seconds. Yeah. <laughs> but you are right. You know, it went from six to six to two, all of a sudden it's twelve to two. Well it's four to two for so long. Right, yeah, exactly. Well, another looked like it was gonna be a good feed, but stolen away. Gurak rims out Platts. Pardon me, Bell with the nice rebound. Yeah. She's got three already, Casey does. North content to set up their offense. Sheringer had a three, but uh, passed it up. Bell got away with a walk there. North doing a nice job of swinging the ball side to side. And they're saying it tipped off of Sheringer's hands. It'll be South Small coming down. 7.59 left in the ball game, in the first half, pardon me. And uh, Sandy Botham calls a timeout for South. It's a 30-second timeout. 
Following this game, of course, we have the boys. North-South game, the second one there. Four turnovers now on North. Yeah, last game for North is yeah, Notre Dame. They're the only team that's ranked in our league. I think they're ranked eighth or sixth. They're in second place, and that's who North finishes with uh, on Thursday night. As we mentioned a couple times, they've run six out of seven. Their only loss is to Bayport, who leads the league. Um, North, with this win, can climb up into four. Southwest is 11 and five in league play. Ashwaubenon, 10 and seven, so North could go to 10 and seven with a win. Uh, but you want to get hot before the tournament, and that's what North's doing. Our crew tonight, we have uh, Scott Mailoff as our director. Richard Bartson is on camera one. Down on camera two is Jason Lee. He's a sophomore here at South. And then we have in the truck, Nate Free, Jr., Isaiah Stengel, sophomore, and Serenity Weebler, a senior. All these student helpers are from uh, South High. And they're members of uh, Scott Mailoff's class. Up in the booth, we have uh, Chris Wright doing the uh, color, and I'm Mike Martin doing the play-by-play. -play. Bolt had her uh, shot blocked by uh, Girak. I like the fact that she attacked. Instead of passing on the outside, she took it right to the, to the basket, hoping that maybe she could pass it off or finish with a layup. Nothing wrong with that blocked shot. A good lead feed to Platts. Does a little fake in the lane and then misses the layup. Getting control of the ball was a Lindsey Horan. Three ball, off no good. Uh, they're gonna call a foul on South. Oh man. It's only her first, but it is a seventh team fall. I think uh, North will be shooting now. Bellhorn and uh, Schmidt in the ball game. Emma making her first appearance. And get a good shot of Kylie Gurak. North played 11 girls. I have Marty already. They played a bunch, that's for sure. You know, we've talked uh, numerous times throughout the game, Chris, about South knowing what to do and uh, trying to execute. It just uh, not always comes together. Uh, usually results in a turnover, but I'll tell you, Sandy Botham uh, has got him doing the right things. Yep. Good defense on the baseline and uh, South again turns it over. Abby Ehrman checking in. Abby's got one foul. You can't see it on your screen, but uh, Coach Botham is talking to her uh, player that she just pulled out, Dina Bushi. Platts loading it up. Bango! Finally well, on the board. Yeah, this is what we saw in the first game, Chris, uh, a large chunk of time where South has not scored, and they're saying the ball was tips of the Lady Red Wings will keep the possession. Hit it. Nice pass, and the left-hander, Urban, puts it in. Two-pointer. Got them all, all four. And that breaks the 13-point uh, run. Actually, 15-point run. Must have picked up her pivot foot, Marty. Don't pick up your pivot foot. File with a nice turnaround jumper in the lane is no good. 
A quick release on that attempt by uh, Luna, Luma. Platts from way downtown. She was feeling it, but couldn't get it in. Kircher with the rebound. Shortest girl on the court, Chris. Yep. And uh, we get a jump ball. Good effort inside by uh, Savannah. No, that was by uh, Katie Banny. It was a tie-up situation, but the arrow, arrow points north way, so they'll bring it back in. Gurak looked like she came down the middle of the lane and was wide open, but they didn't give it to her. That ball by Belmore is in. Well, Chris, maybe that's why they keep shooting the threes. They got the ball inside to uh, Horn, but uh, her pass was uh, tipped out of bounds. North just a little quicker. Another turnover, good lead feed to Schmidt. Good fake, but the shot again is blocked. Good hustle by the Lady Red Wings to get back on defense. And Platts almost with a steal, but then Belmore comes up and gets it. Kircher, Belmore, a little bit short. Ball goes out of bounds off of a South player. That was Horan. Is that Toby's daughter? I don't have, I don't know. Hey, you're up here to do a job. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen Toby or Mike, no. Got oh, a little hook shot down deep is good by uh, Kylie Gurak. Well, she had just seven points last time. She's already four already. She's halfway there. She's leading score at 10-7. But Marty mentioned in the opening, three ladies for North, around 10 points per game. Claire Binder back in. She started the game tonight. Talking to her mom on Thursday. Did a little bit of subbing over at Lincoln Erdman. We're pretty happy with the way things have gone this year. It's a scrum. Another tie up, but this time the arrow points south sway, so they'll get it. 428 left until halftime. North on top, 20 to 4. Toner turnovers have got to be the bugaboo. Another one, Chris. Yep. Good pass to Schmidt. And she puts it in. Another turnover. Gurak, left-handed layup is in. That was pretty. Why is it when a kid goes in and makes a left-handed layup, it always looks prettier than a kid that goes in and makes a right-handed layup? I mean, they're both two points, right? I don't know. I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lefty. <laughs> Uh, we only have two games left after tonight, Chris. Uh, on Friday of next week, we will be at North when they play Green Bay Southwest. And then the last game of the year is the following Thursday, February 22nd, when Pulaski travels to North. That'll be a yep. tough one for the Raiders. Yep, both boys games and uh, Southwest and Pulaski ahead of them in the standings for the boys. And hopefully we'll do some tournament games. Uh, See how things go with uh, we mentioned all our local schools. Yeah, exactly. We mentioned next Thursday is uh, the last game for both North and South. North will play Notre Dame. South will play De Pere at De Pere. De Pere, well, they're down on the boys' side, but not the girls' side. Well, they're nine and eight in the girls' side too. They're in uh, fifth. 
One, two, three, four. How about six? Six okay. points for girls. So All right. They're about the same. The boys team has been playing much better the second half. Kind of like the South boys. Allie Bolt bringing it right up the middle. A kick out pass to Banny. She's wide open with that extra dribble and that time she nails a three. Well, she's had some looks over there. A quick feed into Binder and she was open for an easy two. I said that Katie's had some good looks. She's one of the seniors. Just having first time she got one to fall there. Bircher almost a steal, but they get it inside. Now a little kick out to another left-hander. Abby Urban for two more. But they got to get back. They get it right over to Bolt. They know hers. She's their best uh, ball handler. And then... Uh, Tripping is going to be called on uh, Sydney Vogel. Good job by Halley. She's going to be good, Marty. Yeah. Only a freshman. Been a little bit of a growth spur, too, you know, and she came up here as a eighth and a seventh grader. She was a little bit short, but she's grown. Yep. Fanny wide open. Not good defense by North that time. Another offensive rebound by Luma. Bolt hard to the basket and scores. Kircher going maybe a little too hard. And that's gonna she be does a get tough, a foul. Tough foul there on Halley. That's going to be her third. Marty. Oh boy. Just got her feet tangled up. Yeah. Dina Bushi coming in for her, I'm sure. Kayla had a tough first trip to the line. It was only half as tough that time. Well, that middle looks wide open on the north zone. Chris and South doesn't have anybody in there. Urban's shot is no good. Theobald with the board. Her second rebound. Nice skip pass. Gertrude driving the lane. I think she's going to get called. No. They're calling a block on South. Kelly Kiefer. She's going to be shooting two this time, Mikhail is. Let's see if she can get one in. She's got an 0 for so far. Well, she came into the game just 57%, Marty, so struggling a little bit with her free throws. Going to have to prove that a little bit. And ugh, I thought she did. Platts with the offensive rebound and a putback for two. Sharing her in. Bell back in. Bell had a good uh, run earlier in the game. Yeah, she's has uh, no points, Marty, but she does have three rebounds. 
She's been a valuable uh, addition off the bench. Yeah, really Gotta good have those kids. player. Good rebound. Turns and shoots, no good. Theobald, rebound, put back, wouldn't go in. Oh, man. Last uh, three games we've had here, Chris, there have been a lot of balls that have been in and popped out. Yep. And if I remember correctly, in the old gym here, the rims were really tight. Abby Urban driving the lane. Couldn't get it to go. Opie, Platts, Bango. Heating up. That right. Made three of her last four, three of five in the game. 25 seconds left. And he had it on top. She's got it again with 15 seconds. Danny with the dribble, shot is off, no good. Been one of those nights. Opie's shot is too late. We're at halftime here at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse with the uh, Lady Raiders on top, 32 to 11. Look at me, hey. Raymond, look at mommy. Maybe the light hurts his eyes. Maybe she's just not hungry. Maybe he can't hear us. Maybe we're not stimulating him enough. Maybe it's a phase. Avoiding eye contact is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better.
I guess sometimes things just happen. Devastating things. Your whole world changes in an instant. That's what happened to me the day my mother had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulties. T, time to call 911. Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for information on how to provide even better care for the person who once took care of you. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Good morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us. We go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to GetSchooled.com. Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat right or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes, and way over here, busy moms. Living near the water, it's a dream come true for many, except when there's flooding or a hurricane. That's why people who live near lakes and rivers, by the ocean and bayside, are working with their local planners to make sure that protection from all sorts of natural disasters is part of the planning process. Learn more at planning.org. That's planning.org. Living near the water, it's a dream come true for many, except when there's flood. Give me a spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, 
you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Back at, back at South High School, the Cutie Fieldhouse. Before uh, we go over some halftime stats, I want to give a shout out to uh, Karen Bergen and Sarah Meisner, a couple of freshmen who helped me out with uh, the roster for the South girls. Chris, uh, leading scorer in the ball game is Mariah Platts with eight. She has a couple threes in that eight. Kylie Gurak and uh, Mary Schmidt tacked on six for North. Uh, for South, Abby Urban is leading them with six. Katie Banny with the three and Hallie Bolt with two, but she's got three fouls at halftime. What do you have? Well, North started off one of 11, Marty, and they finished 11 of 22 for 50%. So on the half, they shot 33 sh baskets in the first half, which is a lot. They hit 12 of 33, 36%, just three of 15 from three. Uh, they committed five turnovers for Sheboygan South. Five of 26 from the floor, 17 turnovers. But on a positive, they did have uh, uh, eight offensive rebounds. They did a lot of offensive rebounding, especially early in the game. And uh, I would imagine uh, head coach Eric Spielman is not very happy about that fact. We should have kept those times up here. <laughs> Replay times, you can announce that during, during the live broadcast. Same starting five, Marty? Uh, yep. Looks like it. For North. Uh, Schmidt's three ball is uh, way off. I was looking at that first uh, the score from the first game, and it was 68 to uh, 30. And uh, South on the season averages 31, so it was pretty much on the mark there. And uh, North's offense only averages 54, so they're way above the mark in that first game. Bolt's shot was blocked on the way. Theobald with a nice rebound yeah, for the Lady four, Raiders. Four rebounds now. Schmidt loading up again, nailed it. This time, her second of the game, Marty. Yeah, she uh, looks pretty good out there. Had 10 coming into tonight, now with 12. North trying to trap in this zone every opportunity. We're gonna get a blocking foul on uh, Sheboygan Norris, Nicole Lang. I had North three for 10 first half on free throws. South was 0 for four. Jason Lee on the floor camera. Richard Bartson up here with us running camera one. Scott Mailoff, our director tonight. Nate Free, Isaiah Stengel, and Serenity Weebler uh, helping out in the truck. Not a lot of turnovers on uh, North. They've done uh, pretty good in that regard. South is uh, not. Bolt with an 18 footer, got it, two pointer. She had her feet ready and as soon as she caught the ball, she knew what she was doing with it. Schmidt fighting through the double team. Bolt's gotta be careful though, she has three fouls. 
Lang's shot is no good. Warren with the rebound. Oh, Bolt just maybe got away with an offensive foul. Percher commits the foul, but the ball was on the floor. No basket. Fanny, rainbow three is no good. File with the offensive rebound, puts it up and in. Great jostle that time by Amy. For Amy, that's her first two points of the game. Binder had it in the corner. Looked like she had a chance for a three, but passed it up. Pass inside to Bender is intercepted by Katie Banny. Ooh, Kircher picking up a tough foul there. Allie knew it too that maybe this might go on me. Lots of Raiders checking in. Sim Safford in the announce floor announcing tonight. All rise. Thirty five to fifteen. Ball tipped away in a scramble on the floor. Gurak picks it up. Sharing her back in the ball game. For the Lady Raiders, as oh. is uh, Mariah Platts. Yeah, they substituted five, Marty. I'll tell you, the person that made that play was uh, Casey Bell, the screener inside. Yep. She had a nice pin. Very good point, Marty. Can almost give her an assist. Opie on the three ball, by the way. Bolt, the 12 footer, is rims off. And then uh, over the back is a file. And that'll be her third. Another screen, that one for Platts, but she couldn't get it to go. Sheringer loads it up, rims out. And it looked like Urban tapped it out of bounds, but uh, referee Dan Miller says no. Following this game, we'll have the uh, North-South boys game. In action earlier today, the uh, North girls JVs defeated South. Platts, the left-hand layup is no good. Opie trying to rip it away, but she can't. It's gonna be a tie-up situation. Good recovery that time. Nice pass inside. Platts with the steal, though. One too many passes, I think. Chris Warren yep. should have shot it. Yep. Good feed inside to Gurek. She backs her Oof. defender back down. Warren and puts it in. Yeah, you're right. That was pretty. That's how you used to do it when I was defending you down underneath. I don't think so. 
I wasn't really a backer in her. Flats going hard, fake off the glass and in. Flats now with 10 points. Full timeout, Scott, so we can take a short break. 12.21 left, North up by a bunch. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where the uh, Lady Raiders lead it 42 to 15. Chris Wright, our color guy, and I'm Mike Martin doing the play-by-play -play, and uh, we're really enjoying ourselves here. Uh, we do not look forward to the end of the season. We're hoping that uh, when tournament action starts, we can get a couple of uh, WIAA tournament games in. I know we talked about uh, Lutheran having Lutheran having a nice squad. They might get a home game. Uh, maybe we can get the uh, North I Raiders. They have a pretty good record. Let's see if they can get a home game. But uh, that's all to be. We don't know yet. We just got to wait and see. They haven't even come out with the seating meetings yet. Yeah, I think the girls' seating is this weekend, Marty. So it's tomorrow. I believe so. And okay. then the uh, boys will be next, next week, week. So okay. we'll get things all squared away. Opie trying to make the steal fell down at half court. The feet inside to Urban, but she couldn't get her shot off the glass to drop. Good feet inside to Bell. Nice. Oh, she had a nice move inside. Couldn't finish, though. Bolt comes away with it. Right down Main Street. Couldn't get it in. And then we get a foul. Well, we mentioned it how many times in the first half, Marty. The South ladies are there. They just got to do little finish. Allie Bolt picked up a bad, 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 bad foul. 85 feet from the basket. Yeah, just a freshman. But uh, we mentioned how she's a good athlete. This team will come. They're going to get better and uh, they'll win some ball games next year. They all work hard over the summer. Get to that feet inside the bell. fitness center. No good. Whoops. Sharing her hard. Big scores. Yeah, whistled. Boy, that looked nice, Chris. Taking it in against yep. pressure and scoring. Just trying to figure out how many Raiders have scored. Quite a few. By the way, one, two, three, six, eight different Raiders scored in the first half. And I think we tacked on a new one. This half would make it nine. Opie going hard to the hoop. Couldn't get it in. Blue ball. I take that back. No new ones. Got eight, eight different girls scoring. Nice feed inside by Scheringer. Gurak with the basket. Yeah. yeah, she's five of seven from the floor. Platts fighting hard on the floor for the ball against uh, South Lindsay Horn. And a Belmore in the ball game, and also in is uh, Sydney Vogel.
south trying a look look over a minute like a one three one full yeah. court press good passing shot by Vogel inside it's no good but she was fouled she'll be at the line shooting a pair she has a chance Marty now to that would be number nine yep. Dina Bushy committing the foul. She got it. Couldn't get the second one, however. 47 to 15. Another turnover by the uh, Lady Red Wings. A tough night in that regard. Yep, they're over 20, Marty. Opie had the right idea, except she threw her best uh, Bobby Douglas pass instead <laughs> of Aaron Rodgers. Bushy. Oh, couldn't get it. Offensive rebound, though, by Horan. Over to File, who does put it up and in. Nice work inside by the Lady Red Wings. Boy, those shots, even those threes, don't look that far out, Marty. No. Oh, down deep by Opie, and she walked. Got all excited. She was wide open. Platts found her. Quite a few turnovers on North here in the second half. Got him for four. Nine in the game. That's not too bad, I guess. Nope. Ball is tipped away from uh, Urban. Abby will toss it in. Pushy in a good feed to Horan, who dumps it inside to a file whose shot was blocked. But good inside work by the uh, Lady Red Wings. Opie, no good. Oh, it did, bounced in. <laughs> Holy cow. There was a roll. Bushy, no good. Same spot. Yeah. Nice feed up by Bolt by uh, Belmore, but Vogel gets the easy score. North running the floor. Urban's pass was almost stolen by Opie. I haven't heard much from Mary Schmidt. I guess she's got her she's got nine points. Yep, got her for right. a couple. Right, six in the first half and that three. Yeah, quiet in the second nine. Half. Right, exactly. Vogel to Gurak, and she puts it in. Well, what I say, she had seven in the first game, but she, Gurak up to 12 here in the second game here. Bango by Banny along three. Her second one of the game. Katie with six points. Good trap. Right idea. Like I said, all this is steps to improve. Of a summer and play together and get better. Claire Binder and Tori Rietbrock checking in. South, or excuse me, North has seven seniors, Marty. They got quite a few. Bushy, good anticipation, but uh, couldn't control the ball. Belmore comes away with it. Schmidt, no good. File with a bust out, and hustling back was uh, Hannah Belmore. Who tipped the ball away, and she's in trouble now. Wade Heinen coming out. What are you doing messing with our 
Music stands. Belmore. Down goes the stand. <laughs> Lots of debris. <laughs> Somebody's music got out of order. And nobody coming over to help the stand. Ay, 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 people these days. Allie Bolt back in the ball game with her four fouls. Bushy trying to force it inside. Kircher in for a Belmore. That'll be the last stand you take out, Hannah. Allie Bolt open, takes the three, couldn't get it. Put back is no good, that one by uh, Horn. And a deep pass to Vogel. Shot high wow. off the glass and in. Good shot again, and there's yeah, another. Warren with another offensive rebound. You're right. Yeah, she's got three. Banny shot no good. Horan got it over to Bushi, who couldn't get it in, and North finally comes away with it. South getting a lot of second chances, though. Kircher kicks it out to Rietbrock. Nothing but air. Yeah, well, don't tell me they're going to call a foul on Bushi. They are. But I won't tell you. Hannah Vogel in. There's not enough basketballs for all those Vogels out there now. Oh, they took one out. That's why Spielman's a head coach. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Good cover up defense by Wrightbrock to keep Bushy from shooting. Schmidt comes away with the rebound. Quick feed. Shot oh. is off the glass. No good by uh, Hannah Vogel. Schmidt, oh, good look. pretty good, yeah. I agree with you there. We don't agree on much. <laughs> oh, Bull, take a Halley. Oh, the lead feed, but there was nobody there. Getting a little sloppy right now. South, looking to get a good shot. Bushi cut off on the baseline by Mary Schmidt. There you go. Nice pass inside to Amy File, who puts it up and in. Well, it's good passing there. Started by Bolt, Fanny, File scores. Mary Schmidt on a nice drive to the basket, but uh, couldn't get it in. Tapped out of bounds by Horan. I think because I mentioned uh, Mary being kind of quiet, she's all of a sudden started taking more shots, Marty. I think she heard me. Since I said she had a quiet nine, now right. she wants to be more active. <laughs> I hear you. Kelly Kiefer in the ball game. Nicole Lang. Coming back in for uh, Schmidt. Now oh, she's going to be really quiet, Chris. She's out of the game. Binder with a nice save. And a good feed inside to Rietbrock, who puts it up and in. And that's number 10 scorer. Yeah, 
have 15 on our roster, Marty. Got to get a few more. 3.30 left in the game. Gonna have to hurry. Fanny to Bushy. Bango! I have her for that. It's her first points of the game. Turnover on North. Bushy from the same spot, but couldn't get it. And good fight by the girls. Tie-up situation goes uh, to South. You know, Banny's got that ability, Chris, to uh, put the ball on the floor and get herself open for a jump shot. She's done that uh, several times tonight. Good defense, good defense. Oop. Right leg. That was not good, though. No. Unintentional. All right, hope she's okay, though, Marty. Urban shot, rims off, and good hustle, but not able to save it was uh, Kelly Kiefer. There you see her diving on the floor. Anna Martin coming in, the freshman. Nicole Lang's okay. Took a pretty good shot there, Marty. Savannah Ellison for uh, North, uh, for South, pardon me. And Caitlin Stricker in and Hannah Martin in for North. Belmore had the right idea, just made a bad pass. The interviews, Marty, coming yeah. up. By the way, our record after tonight will be up to 11 and five, which is more to our liking. Ellis's shot is off, but the putback by Stricker is good. Her first points tonight. Whoops, that's gotta be a travel. Lang tripped over the line down there. Blame that one on the line painter. Stricker with a skip pass. Over to Luma. Ellis has it back. North continuing in the zone defense. Stricker, little too far. A little too far for uh, Caitlin. Drive to the basket is up and in. Binder on the basket. 60 to 27, under a minute. Ellis trapped underneath. And they're gonna get a foul on North. Binder committing her first foul. She's coming out. Tori Rietbrock comes in for her. Ellis going baseline again, gets trapped. Belmore gets fouled near half court by Ellis. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Not enough team fouls to uh, put either side at the line. Under 30 seconds left. Inside to Martin. Her shot is uh, tipped out of bounds, no good. North will keep it with 16.1 seconds left. There you're gonna see, the, I think, the pass inside. He's blocked. Oh, Ellis with a steal. Belmore from behind commits the foul. Ellis will be at the line shooting a pair. Six seconds left. Savannah trying to get on the uh, scoreboard for the Lady Red Wings. Come on, Savannah, you can do this. That looked a little better, and she put it in. Good job. And North will let it run out. Belmore, and that's the ball game. Sheboygan North, the winner, 60 to 28. Chris, when we come back, Chris will have a couple of the girls from the winning North team and uh, all of some leading scores, and uh, we'll wrap this puppy up. Food. It nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables. And cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy! And refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit Home Food Safety. I got it. Okay. I'm gonna go fix the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you check. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. And to follow the swimming rules. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Got a quarter? Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... We're here with some uh, uh, Victoria. Congratulations on the win tonight. Nice win. 
start off a little bit about the game tonight. What was the game plan defensively against South tonight? We really want to play threats and to get them off balance and stay up and get some steals right. Yeah, and I think you did a great job. You created over like 17, 18 turnovers in the first half. Had a bunch of turnovers in the second, so must have worked. And something you might work a lot on is uh, defense and turnovers as a team. Yes, we use that as a big turning point and get some offensive plays too. What do you think of these North-South games? I really enjoy them. Uh, there's a lot of at big atmosphere without the team, with the team, and I really like it. Yeah. And playing for Coach Spielman and the rest of the team this year? Yeah, I really liked it. All right, let's talk about offense. What was your goals for the team against South tonight? Uh, well, offensively, we just wanted to get just open down at the post, get some smart shots going up, and just believe in each other, basically. Well, I was looking, you know, if you look at the scoring for your team, you know, you have a lot of girls and a lot of people that contribute on a team offensively for you. It's not just one or two, it's a whole bunch of the ladies that help out. Yeah, and especially tonight, if you look at the box score, there's a significant amount of points. What do you think of the North-South games? You played in them for a few years. Yeah. Uh, every year, and it's something that I'm going to have great memories of forever. Yeah, is that a week of practice different, or is it the same in school, or do you think it's always the same? It's always basically the same. We come from competitive and we just try to get victory, try to give our team with, and coach what he wants. Right. Well, congratulations. All right, we'll start down here. You guys have been on a roll the second half of the season. I think you've won now seven of eight. Must be coming to practice a lot easier. And what's in the key? What's the magic? I think the key for us has just been to work hard and always like give our 110 percent at practice and push each other every day. So well, and again, you know, you've beaten everybody in your schedule except Bayport. I mean, like I said, practice has got to be great too. Yeah, it has been. After a big win, we usually come to practice. We're all very hyped up, and it's always so much fun. Let's like hard and just competing every day. Well, I'm going to ask you the same. What do you think of these North-South games? Um, I just love the energy of them. It's so fun coming here and like having everyone from the community always here and like supporting everyone. And it's always fun to play against people we know. Now, can you hear the crowd and stuff, or you kind of kind of block it out a little bit? I, I usually block it out. I'm like I'm very focused on the game, so I usually block it out. I can't really hear. Well, just make sure that Coach Spielman hears that you're very focused. All right, now let's talk a little bit about the rest of the year. You know, you always want to save for a basketball team. You want to get hot coming into February, March of the tournament. We mentioned before your team's playing very well. Look forward. You never know what could happen in the tournament. Yeah, um, we've been working really hard in practice, kind of planning ahead to what we play and what we're going to do in the tournament. Yeah, and I can. Like I said, good basketball in February, March is the key. And, you know, coming out with a win like this, maybe you can, you know, upset Notre Dame on Tuesday's win, and then who knows in the tournament. Yeah, uh, tonight was a really good boost momentum for our team. I'm going to ask you the same question I asked What do you think of these North-South games? Um, I look forward to it every year. It's really a special moment uh, to be a part of, and I'm sad it's the last one. Do you guys do uh, anything different uh, with your team, like a dinner or practices or anything? Yeah, nothing different, Coach. Yeah. Well, congratulations to all you ladies. Good luck this week against Notre Dame and then in the tournament as well. With that, we're going to send it back to Marty. Final scores, North the winner, 60-28. to 28. Leading scorers for the Raiders were Kylie Gurak with 12. Mary Schmidt had 9. Mariah Platts had 10. Meredith Opie also had nine. So four different uh, players for the Lady Raiders contributed in a big way. Uh, for South, they also had three, but uh, they didn't contribute quite as big as the uh, Raider ladies did. Katie Banny, Abby Urban, and uh, Amy File each had six points to uh, help in their cause. On the season now, North... Uh, Runs their record to uh, 13 and 8, 10 and 7 in conference. North drops 1 and 19, 1 and 16 in conference. Their last game will be coming up on Thursday, February 15th. North against Notre Dame and South against De Pere. Uh, we're going to 
check out for just a minute. I'm going to go down and uh, meet with Chris, and we'll do the opening for the boys game. <laughs> 